me, bitchy, here back, giving you another show. Here with, ladies and gentlemen, the premiere of season 12, honey. Yes, we are in season 12 of Keeping It Real with Darrell Bitchy, which was the original show. But I just like to call it the Darrell Bitchy Show. Welcome. Get your teacups ready, honey, because there's a lot to spill. Let's start spilling. First, Nikki and Meek. Ciao. So, this is what happened, y'all. Nikki yesterday put up an uh, Instagram post basically praising Jay and also, you know, letting her fans know that, you know, why is it that when Jay says something, all of a sudden you dudes, you know, take it to heart and, you know, you guys live by it and, you know, you guys, you know, make it your word is bond, basically, to my East Coast people. Um, but, you know, she's basically saying that us bitches have been telling you that for years. Stop. Acting like you have so much money, putting up these fake racks online. Stop throwing around money that you really don't have. And just stop being a bitch, basically. And so Meek, Meekisha, Meekisha decided that, you know, Nikki was shading him. So he put up a post basically saying, when is somebody going to put out an album talking about what these bitches do? You know, the ladies are always putting out these albums about what the men do and everybody's always praising it. When is, the, when is a man going to put out an album basically going in on these bitches? For having fake hair, fake ass, fake everything, basically, he named. And basically, he was shitty Nikki. Bitch, Nikki went on a liking spree on Twitter, honey. Liking every tweet from everybody saying, well, Meek, you're a bitch. Oh, Nikki wasn't fake when she testified for your ass in court. Oh, Nikki wasn't fake when she made that All Eyes on You a hit. Because that was the only person who I listened to her and Chris. I don't know what the fuck you were saying in this song, Meek. Um... Nikki made that song. Nikki made that song hot. And I think Nikki got that song as much radio play as it was getting. And it got Nikki also got me to download it. So Meek, just I just feel sometimes I feel bad for Meek because it's just like ever since the Drake situation, it's just like Meek cannot be in the media for anything other than being a bitch. Other than basically an L and other than just 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 being silly. So Meekisha, I think it's time to retire your Twitter, retire your Instagram. Just focus on making music. I mean, I don't really think that people are buying it. Um, I'm not. <laughs> so I mean, just just stop it, cause I don't think that this. I don't think that you want war with Nikki. Um, so let's just stop, Meekisha. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it for me right now. Next, Beyonce. B. Hey B. Um, supposedly, reportedly, she gave birth to her twins, which I do believe. It's been a while. We haven't seen B. You know, B loves to put up a picture, bitch. B loves to put on a Givenchy dress and a, and a hat and some shades and take a picture just for no reason. So, I do believe that she had her kids. Rumor, rumored has the, um, recently has been the names, which are supposedly rumor, I mean, not rumor, bitch, rumor has it, bitch, Rumi and Sir. Um, I mean, those are her kids, so she can, we can all name our kids whatever we want to name our kids. Um, Sir is a cute name, Sir Carter, I like that. Um, Rumi, I mean, it's different, but it's not totally popped. It's not as popped as Apple or any other crazy-ass name that I've heard. So, hey, Rumi, and hey, sir. Um, I don't know if you guys are boys. I think, I'm guessing you guys are a boy and a girl. Rumi sounds like a girl. Sir is probably, obviously, a boy. Um, so congrats to B&J, B. Um, I hope that you, you know, start the snap back and the snatch back to get back, um, you know, on this stage next year. And then you and your hubby can go on another On The Run tour. <laughs> Because, as we're about to get to right now, Jay-Z's new album, 444, released yesterday to rave reviews, honey, even from me. Now, at first, I will say that when I first started listening, I was like, oh, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm feeling it. All the songs are slow. There's no doom, 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 clap for what nigga it is rapping at. There's none of that. There's no Tom Ford. There's no, you know, cut up and all these lights and cameras. Uh, well, look what that shit did to him. Uh. There's none of that. It's mostly facts. It's all facts. It's not the. It's not a. Um, to me, it's not a response to Lemonade. It's a. Basically, it's a coming of age story of Jay Z, basically giving us some insight about his life and you know the things that didn't transpire with him and B. Um, his mother, I didn't know, was a lesbian. Yes, ma'am, Mother Carter. <laughs> I hope to see you at Pride, girl. <laughs> Come on, if you want to come on the show, honey, I accept all LGBTQ people on my show and I would love to interview you, girl. Um, I didn't know that he shot his brother. Jay just, Jay just gave a good album. I fuck with it. My favorite songs off the album have to be probably the OJ Story, 444, Family Feud, and I like Legacy too. Those are my four, my favorite four for right now. I'm going to keep playing it and, you know, getting some, you know, listening, listenation, and, you know, getting formation on the situation. And I'll come back to you with some more reviews. Um, I'm going to talk about Trump, y'all president. 
Y'all, President, I'm mine. Like I said, I don't. I just don't even pay attention to him anymore. I'm sick of him tweeting. I'm sick of him bullying people. I'm sick of him not doing anything other than tweeting. So y'all, President, said that he's sending the feds to Chicago. And, you know, I don't really believe anything that he says. This is coming from the man who also said Obama wiretapped his refrigerator and his microwave. So, um, I do think that the feds are needed in Chicago. Obviously, people are being killed every day, shot and killed, innocent people. Um, people are being shot on expressways. I'm just happy to have left and, you know, have made it out of Chicago, which, thankfully, one of the few <laughs> who got to make it out. Um, but yeah, Trump, if you're going to do it, do it and stop tweeting about it. Shit, bye. Done with Trump. Next, I'm going to talk about this Amber Rose and 21 Savage. Ugh. Ew. Mother. I love you, mother, in my Philly voice, but no. <laughs> no, mother. Mother, fuck no. <laughs> Get it? Um, and, you know, Amber is a pretty girl, sickening girl, beat girl. And 21 Savage is just, I'm sorry, and I'm not being judgmental or rude. I'm not trying to be judgmental or rude, if I am. <laughs> but uh, 21 Savage is so ugly to me, y'all. He just looks like a, a roach. He looks like a roach with tattoos all over his face and nappy dreads. Now, I do fuck with his VV. Yes, I'm trippy. Yeah, yeah, trippy. Yeah, yeah. Serve a nigga with no scale. Scale with no... Yes, 21. But you ugly. So, Amber, I just... Uh, I wish you and Wiz could get back together. I see Wiz and got him a new bitch. He all over Instagram with her. So, maybe that's why you doing this. But I just feel like you could choose somebody better. Like, maybe he treat her good. Or maybe he just got a big ass dick. I don't know. But, ugh. Next, I want to talk about Kendall and Kylie with this Biggie, Tupac, and all these other celebrities going in on them. Um, I guess Kylie and Kendall really think that they can just do whatever the fuck they want to do. So they took shirts with Biggie and Tupac and Ozzy Osbourne and um, Dr. Dre and them, N.W.A. and them, and was putting their faces on it and everybody was going off on them. End of story. You can't do that. That's stealing. That's taking somebody's likeness. So get it together, Kendall and Kylie. Don't know why your lawyers or anybody who you're working with didn't tell you that, but get it together. Next, I'm going to talk about my BET Awards fail, bitch. And just say, fuck BET. Excuse me for my language, but don't excuse me. Fuck BET. Because BET invited me to be a seat filler at the BET Awards. And bitch got me excited boots. Had me taking off days from work, switching days. Getting excited boots. Buying edibles. Getting drunk. Getting high. Ready to go to the motherfucking BET Awards. Hot as hell. So I get that line long as hell. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just see what happens. So I get in line, wait... So the line moved fast as hell when I got in line. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make it. I'm cool. So, no, that was not what happened, bitch. They had us sitting in the line for two, upwards to three hours. Not me, upwards to three. The other people, shit. After two, I was like, fuck it, I'm gone. Um, two hours, hot as hell in the sun. People passing out. They passing out waters. Talking about, stay hydrated, y'all. People passing out. Yeah, we passing out because y'all got us in this hot-ass motherfucking sun. Stupid people not, and they're not giving no answers, no, um, okay guys, um, just wanted to let you know that we are checking people in. Communication, bitch, formation and communication are two of my favorite words. Like, it took nothing but two seconds to let people know what the fuck was going on and let them decide, okay, I'm gonna stand in this line or not. So, fuck BET, I didn't watch the BET Awards, saw a few clips, I love Chance, I love Bruno, and love uh, any other nigga that was there. Especially August I've seen the Get well soon, August. And I'm in L.A. if you want to come meet me. I want to meet you. Um, but yeah, fuck BET. I left. They sitting up here, like I said, I waited and waited and waited until I couldn't wait no more. So fuck BET. Um, last but not least, I want to talk about this little Kim situation, bitch. I guess over the weekend, Kim was out here in L.A. And she had got her an Airbnb or something. This is all allegedly, too. Don't want Kim coming for me. I'm in a, I'm in a room in Hollywood paying $600, so you're not going to get much. Um, so, allegedly. I don't want to avoid any lawsuits. Um, she had an Airbnb, I guess. And I guess she paid like 100000 or upwards of a whole bunch of thousands of dollars. And something happened to where she was kicked out and they wouldn't refund the money. So, her being the queen bee, you want to bumble with the bee, huh? Run up in the house with my whole family. Dressed in all black like the omen. Had the realtor saying this is for my homies. Me, you know me. Okay? Ran up in a spot, bitch, allegedly. And robbed them and got all her shit back. She said, oh, you don't want to give it to me? Okay, you don't have to give it to me. Come on, y'all. Grab the six. <laughs> Grab the whip. <laughs> okay? So, Kim is under investigation, bitch. They believe, okay, so... 
you couldn't get your money back, so you came and got it, okay? You couldn't get it, so you got it, okay, bitch? So, Kim, I hope this is not true. If not, you will be back in that cell, honey, because robbery, bitch, larceny, whatever that is that she did is illegal. So, yeah, that is it for today. We will definitely be back with more Hot Topics and Tea. And like I said, a update is coming up six months in L.A., bitch, battling depression in L.A. for six months. Whew, it's been an up for it's been a ride, bitch. We'll get to it later. Follow me on Twitter at look at underscore dnow88. Follow me on Instagram at dnice1288, and follow me for all the daily funny tea on Snapchat at the one1288. Deuces. <laughs>